Carlson rocking that Bucks shirt. Yeah, shout out like to Milwaukee it. Bucks. Did you have that shirt? Did you ordered that shirt? No, no, I had this on deck. This is an old shirt. I just wanted to represent for a team that did it the right way. Mm -hmm. you know, I like Giannis. Giannis was like, you know mm -hmm. what? I could have left. I could have went to a super team. But I did it. Mm -hmm. I bleep and did it. I respect that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a couple questions for you. Is this so, an attempt at you trying to get in Aaron Rodgers' good graces? Yeah, you know, I want Aaron Rodgers to know bit. that I, I love him, and I hope he returns back to mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Giannis showed up for that off-season program. Yeah, he's and really you see good. what the results are, Tom. I think uh, the lesson here is name your team Bucks, and you will win the championship. That's, that's, that's two that's in a row. Bucks, wow. Tampa, Milwaukee. Well, is there a hockey Bucks or whatever? Now. Rock? Pittsburgh Your Pirates? lovely wife, mm -hmm. Atoya Burleson, yes. cannot be happy about seeing you in this Buck shirt today, be honest. You know, we're old people, so we tried to watch the game. We fell asleep at halftime. She's from and Arizona. And as, yeah. as I gave her a kiss this morning, which I, I do every morning, I leaned mm. in, kissed on the cheek, and I said, uh, I love you. And she said, who won the game? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, not this time. Nate, do you go cheek kiss because of the morning breath? I go I cheek, yeah, I don't want, she got that, that. I love I'll her, but that, that. Sometimes I'll go forehead. A halitosis would be hot. Yeah, no, I'm joking. She's a Suns fan, though. Yeah, she's from Arizona. And yeah. I said, sorry, baby, go back to sleep. It was a nightmare last night. I don't think she's going nice to like this. Yeah. At GMFB, Tom Phillips there. we got to get into your golf yeah. game with Ian Rappaport throughout the program. Yes, I will put you on the hot seat for that, but it is time for the lead block. Lead block. Lead block. People golf in the summer. They also get back to football and training camp. That's right. Two teams, gentlemen, the Cowboys and the Steelers, reporting to training camp in full today that means yeah Dak Prescott Ben Zeke Juju all those stars will be out in the practice field and we should tell you that the Buccaneers and the Giants rookies will also be reporting today we're gonna have the latest from those camps all day long 24 7 right here on NFL Network so what's one thing that we're watching for at either Cowboys or Steelers camps as they get underway high expectations for both squads in 2021 Kyle I'm looking at the Cowboys, and, you know, Dak's going to look amazing. All these receivers, all these they're going to be glamorous. They're going to be great. I'm going to be looking at Reggie Robinson the second. You know who that is? That's allegedly the Cowboys' starting safety. Ooh. Donovan Wilson, sixth-round pick in 2018, another guy who's going to – these guys on defense, what are they showing up with? Who are they? Because we as a show right now, for the last, I don't know, six, seven months, all we've talked about with Dallas is Dak's contract and how terrible the defense is. We're sick of it. I'm tired of it. I don't want to do it. And how much do you think they want to hear it? Are these guys pissed? Are, are the drills physical? Are they are they chippy? Are they chirpy? What's Keanu Neal bringing? He's new in town. They apparently have him as a linebacker. What's Dan Quinn bringing? I want to see the tempo for this defense because they give up 49 to the Browns, 41 to Washington, 38 to Arizona. We've talked about it all year. They've heard it all year. I know the office is glorious and beautiful and paid and all that. Who are these people? Are you putrid? Are you pissed off? Are you both? Change the story now. I want to see pads popping with the D. Kyle, you mentioned those linebackers. They've got about 600 of them. They've invested a ton of resources 600. in that position. You got Jalen Smith, former first round draft yeah. who you've paid. You got Micah Parsons, who they envision having a pass rush role as well, but also another one of those linebackers. And they got Leighton Vanderesh. The guy was a second team all pro as a rookie in 2018. He's obviously been through some different injuries with the neck, but this is probably the best offseason I'm told that he's ever had. He is fully healthy now. How do they mix those guys through the sub packages? What kind of opportunities? How can they get a bunch of guys on the field? We know with Dan Quinn, go back to his days in Seattle. They'll show all sorts of different fronts. They'll have everybody standing up on one snap. They'll have six guys down on another snap. They will mix it up. And you mentioned Keanu Neal. I think he ends up back at strong safety. That's where he nice. can make the biggest hit. I'm looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it starts with Big Ben. He's a topic of conversation, Tom. You touched on a little bit yesterday. You know, I was looking at a website, uh, why older men get in shape and what they should do mm -hmm. about it. And uh, Big Ben obviously came Kyle out Brandt. and said. Kylebrandt.com. Yeah, exactly. That's my personal blog. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Big Ben said he's in the best shape of his life. Yeah. And there's some things that we all can do. We're all the men of a certain age. And, and it starts with, uh, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. That's one of the things right if you if you ask for help from a trainer that will help you um make sure that you just keep swimming they're saying go swimming more often finding nemo just keep swimming right. exactly k adams <laughs> and then also don't forget to neglect your core and these are uh three of a bunch of things right but they're fitting though when it comes to big ben all right don't be afraid to ask for help your wide receivers big ben Ask for help. These guys are going to be the individuals that you lean on, whether it's the intermediate passes or the passes downfield. Just keep swimming. Swimming. Kyle Brandt, you touched on it yesterday, I believe it was, when you talked about that dip in the season where they had an opportunity to go one way or the other, and they went the opposite, and their season started to kind of spiral out of control. 
but just keep swimming. That's going to happen. You're going to lose a game, maybe two, but you can't let that turn into a five or six game slide. And then don't neglect your core. Of course, we know our abs is what we love at this point in our age. We just want to look good with our shirt off. I know Kyle Bratt wants a little bit more than that. But by core, I mean that offensive line. Okay. Don't neglect your core. Communicate with them as much as you can because I could talk about the wide receivers. I can even talk about leaning on Najee Harris. But at that offensive line, if they do not protect Big Ben, mm -hmm. then it is going to be trouble for that Steelers offense all mm -hmm. season. So those are the things that I'm looking forward to in training camp when it comes to Big Ben and the Steelers offense. I'm looking at Big Ben, but I'll fast forward or like I'll zoom in a little bit to his arm, not okay. from a workout standpoint. But there is this narrative that started last year that he's lost. He doesn't have it anymore. I don't think I'm ready to subscribe to that this year, but I am looking to see what he has. Maybe his arm was just tired. I don't know, because he was coming off elbow surgery and had to throw 500 million times yeah. last year. Maybe he had to throw a bunch of short passes because, I don't know, the offensive line couldn't keep him upright and he had to do that. So I'm looking to sort of see what he has and how the ball comes out of his a hand after an offseason where he got to rest. Because I do think that's a narrative that might not be true and might not be fair. I agree. And the best thing Ben could do with his arm right now is just go, here you go, hand off, hand off, <laughs> hand off, hand off. He can make all those throws, a little short dump off to Najee, one foot. That's the ultimate workout. Yeah, all right, right so that. Cowboys and Steelers today. Buccaneers, they are the next team up. Rookies reporting to training camp. They're reporting to training camp in full on Saturday. But first, the defending champs made a trip to the White House yesterday. Tom Brady took the opportunity to jo – what a jokester he's become. And he even had jokes for POTUS. These guys are an amazing group of men. Um, it didn't look great there at one point. We were seven and five, struggling a little bit, um, as the president alluded to. Um, but we found our rhythm. We got on a roll. Not a lot of people, uh, you know, think that we could have won. And um, in fact, I think about 40% of the people still don't think we won. I understand that. You understand that, Mr. <laughs> president? Mm -hmm. I think a deep dive must a deep dive must be done into whoever is writing for one Tom Brady. Excellent stuff all offseason long. Guys, how many trips to the White House is Tom Brady going to make? Let's have some fun with this. I'm glad you shouted out the writer. At some point, I mean, it's incredible. to have a victory lap. Talk I also like the joke of but Tom said about uh, he once forgot what, what down it was against the Bears, and they started calling him Sleepy Tom. Like, that, that, that's pretty good content. Uh, he looks glorious. If you would have shown that 10, 15 years ago when he was this young kid in New England out of Michigan 20 years ago, he's still going to the White House. You would have thought maybe he was president or something. But no, he's actually still the winning quarterback. Odds on favorite to go back next year. I, I, can't, I can't see anybody being a bigger favorite than them. At some point, I don't know, 12 years from now, he'll just move in there because he will be the president, Tom. I, I, he looks very at home there. <laughs> Look at him. My thought is just it's always one more. With Tom Brady, okay, if he goes back, next year or two years from now how many more times do you think he'll go probably one more mm -hmm. that's just the mentality he's always operated with there's no signs at this point regardless of where he's at physically that he's slowing down in terms of the things that he brings to the table he's on a really good team that brought everybody back it's hard tom brady knows that more than anybody it is hard yeah but he's also been the guy who's done the hard stuff better than anybody else for 20 years for sure i feel like he's gonna go back one more time i don't believe it's gonna be nine or ten super bowls what i do love though you mentioned presidency they were also asking him if he had a residency there his teammates and mm -hmm. tom was like ah oh, it's been a while since i i've been here i'm like yeah well please, it's funny like life. think about how many presidents have been through there. Like, I think he started showing up like in Clinton era. Like, it's crazy. for real. It's crazy. There's been a lot of them. <laughs> Has been a lot. But I, I feel like you give Tom one more season, right? They, they returned everybody. I feel like they're the favorites right now. I know it's early, and maybe I change my mind in a couple of months. But two years from now, are they going to be able to keep everybody? Will they be able to keep uh, Byron Leftwich from taking a job somewhere else? Yeah. And then on top of that, two or three years from now, that's when these other quarterbacks, these young quarterbacks, the Josh Allens, maybe even Kyler Murray's, Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, the list goes on, where they reach that grown man level of maturity hmm. and the bright lights don't bother them. Because we see a little bit of that in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Tom is as cool as it gets. Mm -hmm. But some of these young quarterbacks that we praise – they fumble and stumble through the playoffs, and that's the reason why Tom is where mm -hmm. he is. You think Tom's Googling how to stay in shape as an old man? <laughs> he already got it figured out. Hey, what was that website? It's a good, what, what, what the hell were you reading? TV12.com? Yeah, yeah, I think that's... Uh, I'll tell you in the commercial. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I love it. Hard Let to me clear my browser that, first. Yeah, that Bucks roster looks that they will not be back at least one more time.